why is the South Polar region special? Why is this landing special in that sense? Yeah, actually, yeah, I would like to reiterate one thing. Is uh, our Chandrayaan-3 will be the first uh, man-made uh, uh, lander uh, to land on the South Pole of the mission. Uh, ISRO always tries to do something new in each mission, and that is right. why uh, they, this is one aspect of it. Second aspect is, uh, as I said, that uh, there is a, a possibility of finding a, a fair amount of water on the southern side of the moon, because what happens is those big craters, they are quite deep, and uh, uh, the, the shadowy areas, permanently shadowed areas will be there, and then uh, there is a bombardment of comets and asteroids continuously happening on the land surface. And these uh, kind of celestial bodies, when they crash on the moon surface, then uh, from there, uh, ice and uh, the same particles are deposited. This has been happening since last million years. And there is uh, uh, expected that uh, we have a lot of uh, water in the form of ice deposited there. And uh, secondly, uh, this uh, area uh, will be uh, very convenient because of, as I said, the power generation is possible because, you know, it's a very unique topography. On one hand, we have got a very large shadowed area, which is permanently shadowed. And on the other hand, we have got a lot of peaks and these peaks are permanently in the sunlight. So right. it is an advantageous position to establish a human colony in the near future. Uh, China is already thinking of establishing a, a human colony there by 2030. And then and there are so many precious minerals available on the, on the moon. So uh, you, one can think of doing the mining and uh, bring those precious minerals back to Earth and uh, use it for the benefit of the mankind. And uh, the, one of the precious minerals I can mention is uh, helium-3. Helium-3 is uh, very important because from uh, helium-3, you can generate uh, pollution-free electricity. And it is expected that it will be available on moon in an abundant uh, quantity, uh, in such an abundant quantity that uh, if, uh, that will suffice the need of the entire Earth for hundreds of years. So you see, uh, there are so many possibilities in the future uh, these uh, moon missions uh, to uh, you know get the benefit for the uh, people on the earth and that is why everybody is now concentrating on the southern portion of the moon uh, for example in the next two years nine moon missions are planned by different countries and america has already planned a moon mission uh, next year at a miss and also uh, in 2025, uh, they are planning to send two astronauts on the South Pole. And then China also is thinking about it. Russia, of course, has got a little setback now because they also had the ambitious plans of sending uh, moon robotic missions for soft landing on the South Pole uh, in the year after year. And that I don't know what will happen to that now. But at least America and China, they are thinking about uh, this coveted, what I would say is a coveted region on moon that is South Pole. 